tell me a bit more about what you do, first of all? Um, so in my role, I'm an uh, innovation advisor at DBS Bank. I've been at DBS Bank for over four years now, and I'm also a managing director there. So that's what I do for my day job. And then in my spare time, I, I have a startup. I um, have a couple of social enterprises in Sumatra where I help to save the orangutans and bring awareness to deforestation and also now into coral reef protection. Out of all the animals, why orangutans especially? Uh, well, orangutans are one of our closest living relatives. Um, they are very interesting when you spend time with them. They look you directly in the eye and there is intelligence there. And the thing is, you know, they it's very important that we keep that connection to, I think, our wildlife. You know, we don't want to go and the only animals we have in the future are cockroaches and cats. But we are kind of driving towards that and we need to help the ones who really can't help themselves. So what is the next big uh, technological innovation that you hope to see? Um, technology has nothing to do with innovation. That's a common mistake that nearly everyone makes. They're completely separate things. Technology is, is actually boring. It's just the sand and cement used to solve problems. Innovation is about solving problems in an elegant manner but successful. Now whether that's technology or not technology, you know, that doesn't matter. So when people think about innovation technology, that's when they tend to get it wrong. They start with the technology first and then try and find problems to solve that. Um, but that aside, you know, I am a big fan of technology. Um, I think really the uh, most interesting thing I'm waiting for is teleportation. And so we've already seen that they're using quantum mechanics that we can um, we call it teleport, but we can uh, actually, they've done teleportation, the Chinese from space down to the ground. And so that's something I'm very, very excited about coming. Mm. Uh, the next thing is actually atomic assembly. And these two are linked. So basically atomic assemblers means that you can scan an object that may be, you know, a, a glass of Coke, it may be a person. And then the assembler actually sticks together the atoms and recreates and copies that object. So, yeah, it's very, very cool. So look out for that one, Atomic Assembly. Okay, so what are some obstacles that you face in your journey and like, how do you manage to overcome them? Uh, most obstacles are around people. Um, innovation actually really is about people and it's really getting people the, um, the mindset, helping to reduce their ego so they accept that there are possibilities out there. Maybe the answer to their problems could be with a student, could be with a startup. Uh, could be with someone old, someone young, someone educated, someone not, and and really kind of get them to think differently and creatively and then increase their ambition. Um, what we need in Singapore is a bigger risk appetite. We need people to take more risk, to try things, to experiment. Um, it is changing, thankfully, um, but really it's around ego, so reduce an ego that you don't know best and you accept that it's unknown, and that's quite a hard thing to do. And, and then to increase their ambition that actually whatever you do wants to be world class and you don't have to be an innovator, whatever job you're in, just do your career's best work. So do something, you know, outstanding that you're proud of. So what are some things that young people can do to like involve themselves more in this area of innovation? Uh, there's lots of stuff you can do, learn the basic tools of innovation, things like design thinking, uh, lean startup experiments, rapid prototyping, data analytics. The single most important skill that's made me successful in the position I am, I suppose, is you know, quite a known global innovator, is sales. Learn how to sell and pitch, yeah, how to influence people. And so when you're hiring staff, you're selling to them to join your company. When you're forming partnerships, you're selling to that potential partner to work with you. When you're trying to obviously sell your product into a company selling, if you work in a company, you know, you are selling your concept. You're trying to convince an executive to take up your innovation and fund it. And so sales, marketing, uh, and the skills of innovation.